Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ajax video training series. In this video I'm going to be talking about the disadvantages of using Ajax. Well exactly there is no disadvantage but just one thing that you will see as we go along with this training of the Ajax video training series. Now let me save this page and uh, take you to the web page. Now here I've written the name and the location. Let's say I will write here and then I will hit on the OK button and then it took some time did you notice it took some time and then it came back with the name which I just entered now I will enter a different name let's say Ali and then the name will be updated here now what if you are working on a program or on a software that is taking way too much time than this and then the user will have no idea what's going on user I mean user will just be simply waiting and uh, expecting for something to happen so there's a proper way to tackle that there is something called update progress then it will let the user know that something is happening for example please wait or the Ajax circular icon that you normally see in most of the Ajax in most of the Ajax pages so we'll implement exactly that one in our web page so we'll go back to the page and uh, we will implement that here so we'll go to the toolbox we'll drag the update progress right here and here I will just type or maybe I can draw I can drag a label control and I'll put this one inside the update progress I will write that text as please wait because we want user we want to let user know that something is happening or some process or some uh, event is taking way too much time we should let user know that something is happening and please wait okay now we'll uh, drag an image container that will hold the image okay let's put this one before the label or let's put it this way okay now I'll go to the properties of this one and in the image URL property I will select the image Ajax loader that is and now I believe you must be familiar with this icon aren't you familiar with this yes you are so this is the idea here whenever a process that is taking way too much time this will become visible okay but before we do now let me just save this one and uh, go back to my page and I will enter something here let's say the name I'll just write test name okay and you see it is taking still a longer time but nothing is showing down below yes it still took plenty of time but there was no progress that's because here in the update progress it is displaying after 500 milliseconds okay what I can do is that I can in 5 milliseconds so I will save this one and now I will go back to my page and I will try to change the location here and let's see what happens voila we got that thing did you just see that did you just see that it just appeared for a fraction of a second and then it went off okay now there's one more thing if you have multiple update panels for example in our case we have an update panel name update panel 1 as you can see here and you want to associate associate this update panel with this update progress so in order to do that what you can do is that go to associated update panel select this one save it and then whenever something is happening or there is a process taking place which is uh, whenever there is a process or a lengthy process this update progress will show up this is very useful for example if you have multiple 
this is very useful for, for example if you have multiple update panels and you want different update progresses to show up so you can have multiple update progress and you can associate multiple as update progress with different update panels I hope you got that right okay so I can I want this one to appear in the center instead of being on the left hand side what I can do is that I can have this one in my I can in, in, enclose this one in the div tag okay I can have it I can give it a class as I have written a class actually for that it's called update yes update progress test actually if you go to the CSS file in the CSS file I've defined this class and actually how to write CSS codes I've made a different video for that so do check that one out so if I go to the CSS file dot indicates that this is a class so I have written I have defined this class as text align in center and vertical align as middle so this is just something that I have done and I have called that class here now I will save this one and I will go back to my page and I will hit enter ok now I will say say set here I will write and I press the OK button and then now it is appearing in the center so that was it so you saw what exactly we did first of all we the div class and then we define this class in the CSS file well that's how simple it is so I'll be making few more videos for the Ajax so do join me and leave some comments and please subscribe to this video as so I'll be making some more videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video.